in terms of mindset of successful people, whether it be entrepreneurs or not, speak to me about the difference between chasing opportunities versus following your purpose. And I find that there's a, 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 a common mistake that I see people making again and again and again, and maybe you see it differently, but people look at how much money I could make with this opportunity, as opposed to looking within and saying, this is my life purpose. I might not know how I'm gonna make the money or how much money I'll make, but I know that this is the path that I need to be on. And more times than not, that's when the money comes. People who chase money don't make money. That's the bottom line. Simple as that. Yeah, I mean, all the great, I mean, I, and, I, and I know you said across all professions and all arenas, but I'm gonna stick with entrepreneurs. Talk to every great entrepreneur and tell them what their mission was when they started. None of them said, I, I wanted to make money. Mr. Gray's wanted, like, I need to create a vehicle that turned into a magazine, but it's a vehicle so that black people could get access to funding and information to grow their businesses. That's what he was trying to do. He was a real estate agent when he started Black Enterprise. He was a former narcotics agent. He was the police force. He was originally worked for Robert Kennedy when Kennedy got assassinated. In his mind back in the day, he was gonna end up probably working in the federal government you know, as a political um, person, appointee. He didn't say, I'm starting this magazine so I can make a lot of money. <laughs> He was like, no, I'm starting this magazine because there's this group of black people, entrepreneurs and people who want to succeed in business and they don't have any way to, to get the information they need. I'm going to give them that information. It's mission always comes first. Purpose always comes first. Then if you do your purpose well, if you make money, which and there's nothing wrong with wanting to make money, by the way. I'm not saying money is not important. I'm saying if you serve your purpose well enough, then what happens is money starts chasing you. You don't have to chase it. Really? If you're meeting a need, if you're serving a purpose, Mr. Gray created a vehicle that served the purpose. Advertisers, he was able to get advertisers to come on. He was able to get people that to work for him to come on. But they didn't come on. They came on because this mission attracted resources, attracted money, attracted supporters, attracted clients, attracted customers. So you need to have a clear mission about what you want to do. Here's the other thing about the importance of a clear mission. If the mission and purpose is real, you'll be fine if you never make a lot of money. Because it's about serving your purpose. So you may make a lot of money, but if you don't, or you don't make it as much as you thought you were, you're not keeping score <laughs> based on that. There are many people who are truly successful serving their purpose, but they do something else to make a living. Nothing wrong with that. But, but they're happy. <laughs> which is the ultimate wealth, because they're serving their purpose. And, but when you do it the other way around, it almost never works. First of all, when you're chasing money, you're not chasing excellence. And you can't be excellent without purpose. That's why the, if there's a company, if there's an industry with 10 companies, usually only two or three, only two, two or three companies on top of the industry. The rest of them are in there, but they're not relevant. They can make enough money to stay alive, but they can't grow and they can't dominate. Think of, let's take it back to professional athletes. How many people play professional level basketball? Now, how many can you name? There you go. On a given team, most people can only name maybe, unless you're like a super fan. Correct. But if you, on any given team, you can most, the average person can name three people on the team the average person, especially if they're not a cha current championship team. I mean, this is a funny story I would tell. I know a dude, it's really horrible, who used to go to the um, NBA All-Star game with, you know, it was like a convention of women trying to, you know, <laughs> catch a ball. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, you know, he, the dude was like 6'9". And he would go and say that he was a member of a, of a team that nobody knew. Now think about when, back when the Clippers, not the Clippers today, when back when the Clippers wasn't really a... Correct. He would say he played for the Clippers. The average woman, they didn't know. You, you tall, you at the NBA thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he would get all these women, didn't play basketball at all, man. So it's my point that when you're pursuing purpose, 
you can excel at what you're doing. If you excel at what you're doing, then money and resources and attention and publicity comes to you. I mean, if people are pitching themselves a black enterprise, I'm like, we're not your PR arm. You can hire a publicist for that. It's not my job to blow your business up. It's your job to have your business blowing up and convince me need, we need to report on that. It's not your job, my job, your job, my job to blow your business up. So if you're doing what you're supposed to do, if you really got it like that, if you're really pushing it and you're balling, you're pursuing your purpose, you're going to get attention whether you want it or not. So don't chase attention. Don't chase fame. Don't chase money. Do what you say this is this thing you're trying to do and do it well and excel at it and all that stuff comes with you. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.